I have to admit, I am just plain tired this morning. Good morning, Pat. Oh, yeah. I'm tired, too. You know, my, my day started off getting up at 3.30, quarter to 4 yesterday. Right. Uh, then I, you know, left the, the radio station uh, to go home uh, at about uh, 12 noon. Came back to the radio station at 2 o'clock to record uh, three talk programs that are going to air over the course of the next month. Uh, didn't leave the station till about 4.30, quarter to 5. Got home, rested for about 20 minutes, and went out and, and covered a special meeting of the a Region 1 Board of Education. Uh, it went into exa- I, I didn't get home. I didn't get into bed till 10 o'clock last night. <laughs> That's rough. <laughs> That is rough. I feel like I, I fought in a price fight yesterday. <laughs> I, I, I believe, I know what you mean. I mean, yesterday was a hairy day. Uh, you know, there were showers, there were thunderstorms. Places like um, uh, New Jersey, uh, on into New York City, uh, picked up, you know, one to two inches of rain. How'd you do in the rain department? It all, it all went south of us. Yeah, I know. And that's the way it was. Uh, and south of us, and uh, which we'll call it, that basically was it. It was south of us. And uh, there could still be a shower or thunderstorm around this morning. The front's not through. It's near Albany. So I have it in the forecast. I said showers and thunderstorms end, if you have any. Right now the radar is only showing some very light speckles. Uh, but you never can tell because it is still humid. And it will stay that way. Partly sunny humid today, even when the front goes through, it's going to take a little while. Uh, for the humidity to drop in the middle 80s. Tonight, clear in the mid-60s. And for tomorrow, partly sunny, hot, moderately humid, 90. Another front will go by tomorrow night. But that one will go through with no rain. None. So that by Sunday, it'll be partly sunny and a little less humid uh, in the middle 80s. So no rain expected over the weekend. The more comfortable day will be Sunday. And we still have fair skies, very warm weather on Monday. I don't think there's going to be any additional uh, threat of rain until about Wednesday of next week. I know you're going to ask me about Barry. Barry is a tropical storm, 50 mile an hour winds, 125 miles south of Morgan City, Louisiana. He is moving to the west at about seven miles an hour. The structure is not, it's just not there yet. Uh, I mean, of course, the planes have been going in and they're fighting the wind. Uh, But it's not a well-formed tropical storm. Nevertheless, it will bring flooding rains, surge, storm surge, and um, wind to the central Gulf Coast uh, tomorrow and into Sunday. What's left of Barry will move across the Ohio Valley, up the St. Lawrence Valley, and that will bring us some tropical-like showers and thunderstorms by about Wednesday of next week. All right. Well, t- today I have an easy day. I'll be leaving here about 11.30 and going home and going to bed. But uh, uh, tomorrow uh, uh, we have the opening night, uh, two nights of the Divas at the, at the Sharon Playhouse. We'll be broadcasting uh, live on air from 6 to 8 and also uh, live on Facebook Live from 6 to 8. Then on Sunday it's the Falls Village Car Show. Pat, they're going to have probably over 800 cars show up to be displayed at this show. It gets bigger each year. Uh, we'll be there in the morning, probably from about 9.30 to about 12.30 in the morning. Uh, I'm, uh, I, we, we normally set up just on the on the porch of the Falls Village Inn. But what a what a car show it is on Sunday. Unbelievable. And Sunday is the better of the two days. So so that's a good thing. Can't complain about that. No. No, no. Uh-huh. Here's the second weekend in a row. That's going to be really, really nice. So a, I can have, this, I they can say have, where there's two, there's three, by the way. I, I can have lemonade. They, they make great lemonade. So I have a lemonade on the porch uh, overlooking all the cars and the people walking by. Uh, every available street parking space in Falls Village is taken over by classic cars. It's really amazing. It's absolutely uh, it for a small It sounds like time. a lot of fun. You know, it is. It's one of the best uh, car shows. It was featured on TV last year, and that's what made it even bigger this year. Uh, it's, right. It's, it's, it's the show that everybody puts on their list to come to. Well, everybody have a good time if you're going to it. By the way, Marshall, I came into a disaster this morning. It's going to call you, but I de- this happened once before, and I don't think it could help me. Um, there must have been a Microsoft update. All of my icons, are my, I have dual screens, all of my icons um, are on one screen to the left, 
on the right screen is um, this thing called Fences, which is in blue. Okay, but that is obliterating almost the entire screen. And in the right-hand corner, all the icons are piled up on top of one another. So the first thing I did this morning was do a system restore. It did nothing. Absolutely nothing. And um, I don't know what else to do. I rebooted the computer twice. I can't get rid of it. I can't get it back to normal. You got to call those boneheads. Uh, Jill's computer in her studio yesterday decided not to, it, it, same thing. It ha must have been an update. It decided, okay, I've never been a, ne a member of this network before, so I'm not going to connect to anything on the network. It took me about 35 to 40 minutes to get the damn computer reconnected to the to the network, which it's been connected to for the past seven years. Crazy. Crazy. Oh. I, th yep. I think they do these updates just to keep us on our toes. Well, I mean, they may be keeping us on our toes, but right now, you know, I mean, thank goodness that the computer on the left, yeah. uh, you know, I could get all the icons and it's working and radar and everything like that, but um, it's just a mess. So I would have to call Microsoft uh, this morning. Yeah, I'm not, uh, I'm, not, I'm not fluent in that, but I just know if you can't fix it by restarting it, uh, then, then uh, yeah, I... You hate to say it because you have to spend two hours on the phone, but yeah, that, that's a, that's a safe way to do it. So you don't erase anything that you that you don't want to erase. You don't get rid yeah. of anything that you don't want to get rid of. So right, I so, will uh, I will see you on Tuesday. I will not be here on Monday. Um, again, nothing that I'm really really smiling about. But um, uh, as I told you, uh, what is it? Six fifty nine. I'm watching the time. Um, I have my niece coming up tomorrow. We have the movie being shown tomorrow night. Uh, I want to try to get into the studio Sunday to build the sets. They're having a board meeting starting at 10. It may not be over till 1. Uh, so I'm just batting a 1,000, Marshall. <laughs> well, I want you to bat a true 1,000 for the rest of this weekend, and we'll speak to you on Tuesday, all right? Yeah, you have a good one. Rest up. Okay, you too, Pat. Take care. Bye-bye, Marshall. -bye, uh, Pat began this morning at the Weather Center with a check on our tri-state forecast here on Robin Hood Radio.